Hey guys, Drew here for you on Z Code Systems. Great to be back here with you. And today we're going to talk about the FA Cup Final, which is coming up this weekend, May the 14th. And it's going to be coming to you live from London at Wembley Stadium as Liverpool and Chelsea play for the oldest knockout club cup competition trophy in the world today. All right, before we get to talking about this game, head over to Z Code System, read up on everything that we post there. As you can see there, I've got a blog on the upcoming UEFA Champions League final, which also will feature Liverpool as they take on Real Madrid. We've got a video up as uh, to go with that on YouTube. Uh, you can check that out in the blog or on YouTube on its own. And uh, we have other blogs up with picks for the upcoming baseball games, as well as the NHL playoffs and the NBA playoffs. So go over there and check that out and sign up today for Z Code System to get the best betting tools on the internet for, well, a myriad of sports that go on throughout the world, whether it be EuroLeague basketball, whether it be NHL hockey or NBA basketball, you'll find tools there at Z Code System to help you make educated sports bets and investments. Okay, let's head over to talk about the upcoming FA Cup final, which will take place this weekend. Okay, so there it is, the two teams that will be playing for the FA Cup trophy this weekend. It's Chelsea and Liverpool. Now, this is going to be a massive game and the fourth meeting between these teams this season. They played twice in the English Premier League, both games ending in draws, a 1-1 stalemate at Anfield and a 2-2 draw at Stamford Bridge. These teams met once more in the EFL Cup final, the Carabao Cup final, and that game finished 0-0 at 90 minutes and went all the way to penalties with Liverpool winning 11 to 10 on penalties in an, an, an insane sh uh, shootout, an epic shootout uh, in which the goalkeepers were involved. Liverpool's goalkeeper, uh, Kelleher, putting a goal, uh, scoring his penalty and uh, Kepa Ariza Balaga missing his for Chelsea, giving Liverpool the win. Uh, and what a day it was to be a Liverpool supporter. Now, Liverpool are on pace, well, to win four trophies this season, although it is kind of slipping away right now. Uh, the Premier League is uh, slipping away for Liverpool as Manchester City uh, go into the uh, to the weekend uh, with the lead there in the Premier League. So Liverpool can still win three trophies this year, um, which is a massive haul, uh, although uh, you know they also had their eyes on that Premier League title. This is the only trophy that Chelsea can still win this season. They have had a bit of a down second half of the season, knocked out of the Champions League by Real Madrid in the quarterfinals, and uh, really falling off the pace for the Premier League title uh, after Christmas. So this is their last chance to win a trophy. There's been a lot of off field issues with the club uh, due to the war in Ukraine and being owned by Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich. So uh, a lot of issues there and uh, some players already saying that they're leaving the club at the end of the season. So like I say, last chance for them to win a trophy this season and uh, they have a massive opponent in Liverpool to play. Now, Liverpool defeated Manchester City to reach this final. So they will feel really confident of being able to defeat Chelsea uh, in the final. Although, like I said before, the last three uh, meetings between these teams all this season, they were draws. So uh, a big game there. Uh, both teams are playing in midweek in the Premier League to prepare for that. Uh, Liverpool winning last night against Aston Villa 2-1 to draw level with uh, Manchester City at the top of the Premier League table. Chelsea will play it later tonight as I come to you on Wednesday. All right, let's take a look at the odds for the upcoming final, which again takes place on Saturday, May the 14th at Wembley Stadium. Okay, so there you can see we have the odds there, and Liverpool are the favourites to win the trophy in 90 minutes at minus 106. Chelsea are the underdogs at plus 275, and we have a draw at 90 minutes at plus 260. Now, once again, these teams have drawn three times already this season, and in their most recent game, the EFL Cup final, they went the distance, 120 minutes, and went to penalties, which Liverpool won 11 to 10. Now let's take a look at the outright odds for these teams to win, which includes winning the game uh, either in 90 minutes or in extra time or on penalties. Okay, so again, you can see Liverpool, the heavy favorites there at minus 200 and Chelsea at plus 162 to win uh, if this game is played, uh, to win this game in 90 minutes, 120 minutes or on penalties. Uh, bookies really love Liverpool here in this game. Um, Liverpool in a fantastic, or excuse me, I should say on a fantastic run of form um, coming out of the Champions League semifinals in which they uh, were able to beat Villarreal over two legs uh, to punch their ticket to play Real Madrid in the final on May 28th. Again, go check out that blog on the Champions League final and our video on YouTube. 
And uh, Liverpool coming into this game, having drawn with Tottenham Hotspur last weekend before beating Aston Villa, coming from behind, I might say, uh, on t- on Tuesday night to win 2-1. And Chelsea, they'll be playing tonight in the Premier League, and they've been a bit up and down as of late, but we'll give Liverpool a very difficult game. Thomas Tuchel uh, was mentored by Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool's manager, and he will know just how to uh, go out and attack Liverpool on the day. Now, of course, Bet365 is my favorite sports book. I always talk about Bet365 here on the blog, and uh, I'm sure you have a favorite online sports book, but there are loads of great markets for this game. And if you use the tools at Z Code System, well, we can help you come up with some great ideas to invest your money on this game. And as you can see there, like I said, lots of different markets that you can bet on, just a few of the popular markets right there at Bet365. And I'm sure your bet, your sports bet, uh, excuse me, I should say your sports book has some great markets on this FA Cup final coming up this weekend. Okay, before we go really quickly, let's take a look at the soccer, but the soccer buddy tool. Before we go this weekend, before we go here, let's take a look at the soccer buddy tool, and I'll give you my pick for the team I think who's going to win the FA Cup this weekend. Okay, so here is the soccer buddy tool, and I've already got it on May the fourteenth, which is Saturday, and now we are just going to. And there is the FA Cup, and we have a score prediction of two to one, Liverpool defeating Chelsea. And to go into halftime, a halftime first half score prediction of one to one. Liverpool coming out of this game with the victory. Now, keep in mind that in two of the three games these teams have played this season in the Premier League, the both teams scored in the second game between these teams in the Premier League that was played at Sanford Bridge. It was two two at the end of the game. Uh, Liverpool raced out to a two nil lead in the first half, only for Chelsea to come back and to. Uh, draw level. Uh, in the first game of the season, these teams played at Anfield. It was Chelsea who scored first, but Liverpool coming back to draw the game. And uh, Chelsea played half of that game with 10 men after having a player sent off in the first half. Now, I think Liverpool are going to win this game. I think they're in such great form right now. And if they can go out and perform like they did against Manchester City in the semifinal, in which Liverpool raced out to a 3-0 lead at halftime, uh, I, think the, I think Liverpool are going to pick up the trophy on Saturday and lift their second trophy of the season and the second time this season they'll have beaten Chelsea to win the trophy. Now let's just check to see if there's any hot trends here and we can see that we are five for six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Chelsea in the last six games. So you might want to get on that if you're looking for a market to bet on this weekend for the FA Cup final. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Let me know down below who you're betting on this weekend, who you think is going to win the FA Cup final. And also, it'd be great if you subscribe to the channel and like this video so we can reach out to more sports investors and bettors out there in the coming weeks. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you soon here on Z Code System.